<laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. And yes. today we have some more Roy Orbison. Roy Orbison, we did Oh Pretty Woman. Yeah. That's the first one. That was fire. And Loved we both it. knew that one. I knew that one from the movie. You knew that one from your dad playing it, right? Yes. Um, well, you didn't know the whole thing. You only no, 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 just the chorus, the chorus. I knew the whole thing because my dad plays that with um, his brothers and you know, he, he grew up playing for a long time at weddings, all that kind of stuff. So I knew that one. I, it's part of my childhood. Oh, pretty woman. But I did not know Roy Orbison's version. That was what was so weird. It's like, yeah. you know, heard my, my like dad the original. His, his band singing. I hadn't heard the original. was really impressed by Roy's uh, vocal performance and a great, great song. But now we're coming to You Got It on a recommendation from yeah. you guys. This sounds familiar in the title for me so as maybe well. So this is another family. Regular. Potentially, <laughs> if the if the if the title if if what I'm thinking of and you got it is repeated throughout the song and like the chorus type mm -hmm. thing, I think I know what it is. You're probably in a different ballpark though. I don't think I know what this is. Anyways, it doesn't sound familiar to me. Anyways, so. I'm ready to find out. Let's check out some more Roy Orbison. It was fire last time. Let's get into it. Every time I look into your loving eyes, I see a love that money just can't buy. One look from you, I drift away. I pray that you. Begin to understand everything about you tells me I'm your man. I live my life. So I'm assuming you know this. <laughs> Definitely do. I have not got a lyric video up somewhere here. I do know the words of the song. I thought maybe you were just psychic. Nope. So definitely a song that my, um, like I said, my dad and his uh, band members played growing up. And uh, maybe they have played a lot of Roy, Roy Orbison and I just didn't maybe. know it. Um, but I love Roy's version of this as well. He sounds so fantastic. His voice is amazing. Yeah, he sounds really good. And I love the backing vocals, like almost like the kind of echo effect. How yeah. He says it and then they say it. Yeah. It like gives a lot of depth to the song. I like it. Yeah. So what are your feelings on the song overall? I like it. It's whole? cute. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard this. I mean, the chorus sounds like slightly familiar, but I don't know if maybe it just sounds similar to something else or like maybe I heard it in a movie or something once or twice, right. but the song in itself, I've never heard it like in its entirety. Great lyrics. Mm -hmm. You know, beautiful lyrics, great love song, yeah. you know, professing your love yeah. out into the world. And, and his vocal, I feel like it's just so like like classic and like gentleman-ish. Like I feel like it has like for this time period probably more of like a modern, but he still just sounds so like his masculine classic vocal. Yeah, it's interesting. It's got this like, you know, mix between maybe Frank Sinatra and Elvis and then this sound of the 60s rock and yeah. roll feel all kind of coming together. Kind of blend. That vibrato that we talked about in the mm -hmm. last one sounds fantastic. I really, really do like his vocal. I think yeah, it's, sounds great. you know, one of the favorites I've heard on the channel. Just yeah. it's so clear. The clarity in his voice is fantastic. You can hear what he's saying so perfectly and it doesn't seem like he's pushing his vocal too much no, to try to get in range. No, it seems ranges. so casual and like effort. Yeah, but it's still beautiful at that when he's mm -hmm. singing, right? Yeah. So I'm I'm really enjoying this one, you know, bringing me back to some childhood memories. Yeah. But um, getting to appreciate the original as well at the same time. So it's kind of a, you know, mixed bag for me. But 
in a good way that is but um also really love the bass drum that i think i'm hearing i haven't heard it that prominent in like any other song um you know you hear a strong kick sometimes but you really hear this bass drum that they've put in here that like reverberates outward in the chorus section i think it was anyways we'll talk a little bit more about it as we get through the end rewind it Look a little at this bit album cover here it is slicked back hair and his cool gas shades on yeah <laughs> got the swag going yeah I live my life to be with you. No one can do the thing you do. Anything you want, you got it. Anything you need, you got it. absolute masterpiece that is yeah it's so good and like you said the lyrics are like so cute yeah and there's so much complexity to this as well we heard roy going into that register there hitting oh, like yeah. operatic vocals. i know at one point i was like okay roy let's go yeah which was really you know next level he's got a great voice we already yeah. talked about but that was you know going even further yeah i definitely heard what you're talking about with the drum also yeah when we were like, really the back just half. kind of explodes right mm -hmm. Complementing that is some of the orchestral string elements mm -hmm. as well that it seemed to have. Uh, beautiful harmonies in there. Yeah. You mentioned the background vocals, but yeah. the harmonies were great yeah. as well. Um, so really combining all these elements in this song, what could more could you ask for? And uh, the only other thing that we haven't mentioned is this was released after he passed away. Yeah. So how impactful must that have been at the time? Yeah. Where you know you hadn't heard anything and like this from Roy. It comes out and, you're and like, it comes out and it's like what he had this in the bag and he didn't even let us know right and i yeah seriously and i think this was um written as well with members of the traveling the traveling wilburys which who he we have not done on the channel thus yes, we far gotta get to that. in um jeff lynn tom petty and roy i think were the songwriters so um really really cool to check this one i loved it yeah I mean, me too you know it's two for two for me yeah i mean comparing this and pretty woman woman like both are so fire so good you know like energetic really like dance radio hit songs and they're but, both so catchy like i feel like both of them would just get completely stuck in your head <laughs> yeah they're super catchy and like i said great for dancing and i think like a party vibe but at the same time it's not like basic you know what i mean no. they're oh, yeah, really yeah. complex songs Songs that have a ton of talent to them yeah which is so refreshing in comparatively to like now you think of a hit song that's kind of watered down a little bit so people can digest it yeah this was watered down from like it didn't have a lot of differentiation in the lyrics mm -hmm. 
but it was still fire from the composition side of things. Yeah. And I think that this is something that you could play really in any setting. Like, I feel like you could play this, like you said, on like, you know, going out with a group of friends, like getting ready, you know, to go spend a Saturday night out. Yeah. Or you could listen to it while you're like cleaning your house yeah. or like, you know, just sitting around on a Saturday That's afternoon. That's probably why I heard it so much growing <laughs> up. <laughs> It's because my parents were playing this and I didn't even realize it. Yeah, I feel like it's very versatile though. Yeah, agreed. So now you guys got to make sure that you subscribe because did you know that 85% of our viewers are not subscribed? So you got to be a part of that wagon and hit that subscribe button down below. Yeah, come join our community. Hit the notification, that little bell there as well. That'll notify you and tell you when we drop anything. And uh, let us know if there's anything from Roy that you want us to check out going forward. Yeah, or the traveling Willberries. Yeah. And uh, what kind of content do we drop? We do music. We do comedy. We do sports. Sports, we do history, so we got a whole variety of stuff for you. That's right. So uh, you can always be on the lookout for something new from us, and we yeah. plan to continue on that journey of new kinds of content for the foreseeable future. So we'd love to have you as a part of that. Before you go, make sure you hit the hit that like button. Little thumbs up does help us, and uh, make sure you get the content that you want on your algorithm as well. So other than that, we'll see you tomorrow with two more videos. Thanks for watching, guys.